What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back once again here in SRX The Game. Check it out some more tracks, and we're going to have a little bit more fun here with the SRX series as we catch up a bit, because as I'm recording this, we are already down to the last race in the series, and that will be this upcoming weekend in Nashville, I do believe. So we will react to that in a future video, but today we are going to go check out all the rest of the tracks we haven't yet. Let's get right to it. So first up, to continue right where we left off in our last SRX video, we're going to do race number two of the SRX season, which was held at Knoxville Raceway. Fun fact, not Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Knoxville, Iowa. There are two of them, apparently. And this is breaking news as we are under green and off and away. And we got to hug this bottom lane if we want to survive and try to get to the front. It seems like the money and time is made down on the bottom here in this dirt haven with rather intimidating walls and an intimidating shunt right there from the inside isn't that awesome bill we took somebody out back there bill come on man it's too early for all that and some more on the outside and the caution is out what the hell is that star we didn't even contribute to that listen i know the srx has been good for some destruction this season they really have been they've, they've torn some stuff up there's been many broken equipment leaving the racetrack we don't need to emulate them that well <laughs> we can survive more than 30 seconds of time here in the heat believe it or not i believe in this field i believe in hanging this thing all the way down in this dirt all the way at the bottom that i don't think we're supposed to race on but i'm gonna put it down here as much as i can because that's where just time is being made up massively so i think we just made a three wide pass on the bottom there there's still three wide back there i think they finally settled it out we gotta keep it oh turned up here we're gonna wreck tony stewart if we're not careful i do not need Another beating from Tony Stewart. I am still recovering. You should see my hospital bills from the last episode. It's unbearable what he's doing to me out here. It's unbelievable. Him and Ray Evernham just, they take turns. One of them holds me down, and the other one just throws punches at me. Back to back to back to back to back. And it's a tough scene. It's a tough. What defense do I have? It's so hard to do the Ali shovel with Tony Stewart sitting on you. Cash Nevis is about to blow on by me as I'm Brandon Raymond. Oh, the leaders bump. The leaders are going around. Oh, annihilation between the leaders. And look who's left standing. Um, excuse me, Mr. Tracy. Do you kind of explain as we go down to the depths of the earth? I don't want to be obliterated trying to make the pass either. Oh, that would be a prime suspect. That would be very on brand of you if you caused that, Paul. Oh my word, Paul's going for the send and a half of a slide job and it is not even close to working. It's slowing us all down, Paul. Come on, man. And everybody's still behind this. Works for me, I guess. I'm still leading. Wow, well, fitting is that Paul Tracy made this at least a little bit exciting as he tends to do in the SRX series. We finished off the heat with the dub. So we just had to ride that one home and Paul Tracy winds up in fourth after all that. Cash from Amazon Bluequist showing up there. That's cool. There you go. We got everybody down there. Well, night has set. It's truly fallen to darkness now, and we are falling to the rear of the field. So we'll see how we can get along on this restart, trying to get through the gears. We seemingly always get through the gears way worse than everybody else. But I'm going to hope to compensate for that by running this bottom like a champion. So let's just go ahead and try to put that into action now. Slobani going to try to make it three wide here as they're already three wide ahead of us. And it is indeed three wide, a few rows back uh, again still. Now it's getting two by two here. This is we're making our way up the inside slowly, but surely this is just just the conveyor belt we needed. Then I slide all the way outside. Hold on. Hold on to this thing. Let's reel it back into that bottom lane. Can't just relax with it. You actually do have to. Put it where you want it to go, believe it or not. Imagine that. As if we just have another bump between leaders right there. They look close up there. Can't tell who's up there leading again, if that's Tracy or if that's somebody else. It looks like he's getting shoved right up the backside by Bill Elliott, though. As we're going to clear that little group, and now we've got this top three to deal with. Castro Neves and the leaders going into each other again. And that's an ass pack and a half trying to sneak through the hole. And the caution is out. My, oh my, we've got some action in this race. The leaders just can't stay off each other. And now I'm one of the leaders and I'm staying right into the side of Castro Devis. I'm just gonna keep the tradition alive. If I can get through these gears, that'd be nice. I'd like to try to keep that transmission alive. 
Let's try to not use this high side. I'd like to get to that inside as soon as possible, and that's not how you do it. That is a perfect tutorial on how to drive straight through Tony Kanan, though, and we may have to upload that in its own because it, it could not be done more perfectly to a T than I just demonstrated right there. What about Tony Stewart? He's looking a little weak up there. He cannot run that high side. It's no good. Just got to ride that black part of the conveyor belt down here. And man, Lucas is getting close to Bill Elliott. Oh, Lucas looked like he was going to lose it on his own right there. Oh, they are going to lose it. They get contact. Who didn't see that coming for a few laps? Well, that is going to wrap up heat number two off the final corner. The top three just ran away from me. And that is a little bit worrying, if I'm honest. But we'll see how we do in the main. Of course, it put me on the outside lane just in time for the main event. But we'll try to get down as soon as possible as we are underway in the main. I do believe this is a 25 a lapper. It is. And already, Billy, you got down to that bottom lane faster than I could. And a little leaning on each other right there. He's going to block me from getting down there. Two and up ahead of us again. There's contact. And Elliot's getting sideways ahead of me. And we dump him. Oh, no. I'll take a little blame. But what the hell is going on here? My leading theory is Terminators have infiltrated SRX. That is the only option because we cannot get two cars to go side by side without taking each other out as we're back underway. And Castro Nevers is probably going to drive off from us, but it's an AI bloodbath, so I wouldn't expect anything but destruction. I think my dreams of a dub may be dashed here. It's going to be defense mode from here on out, it would seem. Scott Bloomquist, one of the greatest of all time, just kind of eerily lingering back there, and he's going to be much more prominent if I give him the bottom like that. And off he goes, I suppose. Should I try to get it back? No, it didn't work quite as well for me as it did for him. Oh, that's a tough spot to give up this late. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That is an ultra send. I, I took him out. Plain as day, and he's not even going to get a caution. I'm definitely getting beat up. Let's just throw this thing across the finish line here and claim our rightful place as the first loser. God dang it, that pisses me off. But Helio Castroneves was just that unbeatable, and he left us literally in the dust. Well, next race up here is at Eldora. The last dirt track, I do believe, on the schedule. The second one in total, and of course, it's a classic. So we are going to hopefully have a little bit of our NASCAR heat skills carry over into this one. But I doubt it as we are underway. And Michael Waltrip starting on our inside right there just intimidated me enough to apparently not get through the gears good once again. I'm a little sketch around Kanan, too. We gave him plenty of reason to take us out in the last race. And there's another one we just laid down on Andretti, and we smoked the wall to boot. Damn it, I hate being in trouble again early. Let's see if we can, oh, let's get the little paint off of it. As we try to get by, Kanan is dancing around us, blocking. You're playing a dangerous game, Tony. Have you not learned yet? And a slide job there puts two or more of them away. All right, update again. We're kind of back where we started. Let's see what we can do. The high side's not going to help us. We got to go that high to low here. See if we can get around our old buddy, Paul Tracy. And it appears we do. Oh, Paul, he's going to try it again, dude. Oh, and there he goes. He dumps himself. What is this? What did they code these AI on? A refrigerator? We just have a clean bit of racing for once in our lives. I want to try to pass Bobby the Body the cleanest I possibly can. Let's just have a little bit of fun, huh, Bobby? You and me, a little good old-fashioned clean racing. Look at that. A clean pass. Have you ever? No, I've never. Michael Waltrip's up next. Michael Waltrip has been great in this SRX season. He has been... Just a fantastic personality through and through. And actually leading at the Knoxville race like he did was awesome. And how Tony Stewart kind of dunked on him in the post race was even equally awesome as we are having a hell of a race with him right now. Let's go get by him though on the bottom. That will seal that up nicely. And two laps to go with a Bill Elliott just appearing in the horizon here, but it, will it be too little too late? I'm going to send it in and try to get there. We're closing in on him on a nice rate here. Let's see what we can do with him. One lap to go in the heat. I want to get the dub and I am nowhere even close to it. So we are instead going to try and battle for this fourth place like it's the win and I'm sending it. 
on Awesome Bill. I'm pointing the camera at him because I'm not sure that we just styled on him and took that spot away from him. He had no choice in the matter. Scott Speed with the heat dub. How about that? Well, what do they reward me with for doing that awesome pass right at the end? They stuffed me at the back of the field. The constant disrespect is getting old, SRX. Just like most of your drivers, but either way, we're going to race on through. Tony Stewart said what? What did he say? <laughs> Belted me out of the way. All right, pal. We can go ahead and throw that right back at you. Oh, Tony. Oh, my goodness. That was as blatant as it gets, Mr. Stewart. I've never in my life. That was a real act of a champion. I am. I'm shook to the core right now, and I'm gaining spots. All I need is a little adversity to get through here. We might have a chance. We're going to get right up to the front here. Come on. I want a heat victory. I had to settle for fourth. I will not settle again. And look who I'm going to have to beat to do it again. It's awesome Bill up there, but I've got Andretti to worry about first. Who scored the dub at Slinger most recently in the SRX season. Shout out to Andretti. Putting them on the map. We just got to shout out everybody in this eventually. Shout out to all the drivers. <laughs> if you win some, you lost some. No matter who. If you showed up, you're a superstar. Right? That's what counts. And speaking of superstars, we've got one of the biggest of all time in our rearview mirror now because we have made the pass to the lead with two minutes and 20 to go. Let's get it. All right. Last corners. It's clean and green. With a second between us and second place, it was never in doubt. Heat 2 dub is secured. Now, can we get that elusive main event victory? That's what I want. All right, we cannot let another one slip out of our grasp. We have got to lay it out on the line. And we've already got some damage on this car. Our back bumper looks a little bent up. Tony Stewart slammed into us. Things, crazy things are happening, but... We will carry on stronger because of them happening. Battle tested, if you will. And we've got Scott Speed, who's been battle testing people on iRacing for years, I do believe. All right, I really need some shenanigans here with the lap cars to start taking place because I don't think we have any other chance of survival. We are coming to eight laps to go here. Ernie Francis Jr. holding down the bottom of the field right now. And I need somebody to hold the leader up against the wall for at least three to five laps so I can win this race. That way we got good margin for error, everything. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. That was not enough. That was not enough, Tony Kanan. You almost were my hero. That was his real payback right there. He just wanted to tease me with the thought, with the idea, a glimpse of hope. Dangled out in front of me and it was dashed. Just as quickly as it appeared. And Paul Tracy not even going to do anything. He's not helping me either. This is why you don't make enemies at the back of the field. This is a case in point right here. Nobody's helping me out now. Maybe we'll be able to get there the old-fashioned way if he keeps getting held up. But I just do not see it. Two laps to go. He's got like two more chances to get owned. And I just don't. Well, I don't know. I don't. I shouldn't say I just don't see. Oh, yes. Yes! A gift from above. Oh, and then the caution comes out. You should just let that go. Green game, come on. You got to give that to me. And now they're going to put me right on the spot. It's just like that. It is time for a restart. How can you do this? And Scott Speed's still right here. We still got a race on our hands. It is not over by any means. We're going to slide up into him. It's three wide for the lead. Tony Stewart's going to take the lead in his own racetrack. Where have you seen this before? Oh, and where have you seen this before? We take him out. And away goes our hopes and dreams and another caution. Wait, we might still be in this, but probably not. Well, as much as I clown everybody else for being a Terminator, I did kind of turn Tony Stewart right there and cause a rather large crash and cost a lot of us a probable chance at the lead and the leaders again. The leaders again. I freaking spazzed out and hit the camera buttons. Are you kidding me with this? We're in the lead. How did we sneak by that? 
I don't know. I don't have time to know because we're ready to go green again. Off and underway. We got, I got arrow damage. Oh, this is, this is not looking good. Come on. I believe I got to cut this car off right here and take both lanes with force. How did this happen? What just happened? We're coming to the white flag. We're in the lead and we were just in like two back to back big ones. Went from the front of the field to the back of the field to the front of the field. In the span of like two restarts. And off the final corner. We're going to slide this thing out in style. Because we just absolutely stole it the back. That was actively being stolen from us. Have you ever, ladies and gentlemen. We have to look at a few replays for this one. Because my word. It was carnage. It was cautions and cars colliding into each other at just an unforeseen rate. And we take out Tony Stewart, who takes out Scott Speed, who takes out us. That relegates us to the back of the field. And then the restart that changed it all. Look at this. A hole at the bottom of the track opens up. We cut off Bill and we take it. I cannot believe that that race fell apart and came back together and fell apart again and came back together again and, or whatever happened happened that we didn't take our dub and move along next race is up out with the dirt in with the pavement we are at lucas oil raceway formerly known as indianapolis raceway park and the good news is we're starting on the inside row the bad news is i basically have no idea what i'm doing at this track so let's just get it underway here as we get a great launch to the bottom side through the gears. Finally, did we get a car with some restart gear in it? But maybe not some first corner traction as we're sliding a little bit all over the place. Still on exit even, but we're all right. It's a little tense there, but we'll gather it up as Marco Andretti just totally botches the corner and we'll sneak under him for the position as well. Put him away, cut him off. And they usually scaredy cat jump by the brakes if you even dare think about covering up their lane it is all over with and look at the runs we're getting now underneath for the two piece with a side of ribs here if i can keep it underneath we might get past ourselves if i don't protect that bottom we're once again gonna have to be bottom feeders at a track to try and have a chance is maybe we can gain some ground on ernie francis jr here with a few good corners just learning to let off a little bit on entry seems to be just the perfect touch for the car right now and we might have a shot at another two for but michael waltrip says oh no no we are gonna close that off right away sir you gotta have two daytona 500 championships to get past me and unfortunately for him i'm just gonna barge right through anyway but i appreciate your statistics my good sir two and a half minutes to go and those guys are pretty far out ahead we might just have to grind this one out for a sec Come on, Scott Speed. You got to loop to that name of yours. You should be up at the front. Not back here. Barely dangling yourself inside the top five with a minute and a half to go now. We'll take another spot if we can. There you go. We'll hold you down even harder than we did in the last race. Can I get myself on the podium in this heat? Come on, Bill. I can almost taste it. We are coming to the white flag this time. This has been the most competitive race we've done so far. It's spread out as hell, and I just missed the total bottom of the corner, so that might do it right there. But this, once I get to car, it's actually a strategic battle of how to get around it, and I don't think I'm going to get around Bill. He's going to hold me off. You got to hold that momentum up, man. Just couldn't do it. Fair play to Bill. Held me off. Might be a bit worrying for the rest of this race, but uh, we'll take it. Look at Labani up there getting the dub. Well, starting on the inside again is always good news, and uh, it looks like most of our competition has been put towards the back of the field with us here, so we'll all have to try to race our way up here as we are underway. There might be a battle of who can get through all the slower cars first, if they are indeed slower. We've got Stewart right here kind of pitching me down a little bit as I'm... Trying to fight off that first lap looseness it always likes to lay down on us. Oh, right there, but holds on to it. We'll power off. Maybe not if I go on the apron, I won't be holding on to it. And I'm going to send Kanan around and 
again off the failures of my own. I am so sorry. I'm definitely getting smacked. Slowly but surely, I am coming off every Christmas card list in the motorsports world. And yeah, that just comes with the territory, I guess, of racing like an ass constantly. But we, we will take these things in stride. It's fine. Into the top three, we go right off the restart. Yes, we can. Clear Marco. Send Willie T. Ribs up the track. I'm sorry. I'm a stooge. With no regard for human life, we just put bumpers to bumpers out here. That is how we do things. And Michael Waltrip now is in our sights. With 245 to go, I believe we can catch him. Will we be able to hold off? The animals behind us is the real question, because I think I see that orange car of Tony Stewart getting a little bit bigger in our mirror. Which means as we put Michael Waltrip away, Michael Waltrip, I should say, it's time for us to go. Tony Stewart tastes it. But if I can just keep it on this bottom lane, they have nothing to do or say about it. And we're going to come off the final corner to a white flag scenario in the lead purely because I am holding up the faster cars behind me, but a lead is a lead, damn it. One more corner now, and it's all in the entry, really. And that should do it. Off the corner, nothing they can do about it. And that is a heat of victory. So we will happily put that in our back pocket. Whether that gains us anything, I have no idea. But it's a nice moral victory at the very least. Oh, we ruined really T-Ribs. I'm sorry. Well, main event time. I like how we just drive right past the restart zone. No need for that thing, I guess. We'll just let the game figure that one out for us. And off we go. One of 25. Can we park the bus and park it in victory lane after this race? That would be the ideal scenario, but that is going to take some managing of the tires, which I am currently not doing by sliding them. And some concentration of holding it down on that bottom. And Castro Neves looking at us. If I don't get down there, he's going to do more than look. If I listen to my own advice, that would be tremendous. So let's just keep burying it down there and we'll be all right. I can always get down there faster than they can, it seems, even when I go to the high side. Maybe I should just drive it down here, though, like they do. You bunch of animals, you can't stop me. I could really use these two cars behind me to just battle it out and let me kill my tires in peace. And there I go up the hill. And down the hill we go as well. And I just took out Castro Neves. Please don't come back. Please don't pass me. Get back here and I'm sliding around. I'm giving up more time. I can see the wind driving away from me and it was at my own damn hand. Just overdrove the corners, slid up slid down and then slid back in rapid fashion as well that is just trash and I don't know if I have the race car as I'm putting it in the wall I'm definitely not gonna have the race car to catch back up to this even though I'm flooring it 11 laps to go this is gonna be a tough recovery this just did not go to plan and we've we're starting to get a little bit of company here, but I think it's too late for him, luckily. White flags in the air. Castro Neves could have his revenge on me here as I'm once again going too high and too low, all in the same corner. Oh, he's going to have a look. He's going to have a look. We got to cut that right off and slide through the last corner. Just like we did the whole race, he will hold off Castro Nevis and take that third spot. That is disappointing. If I could have just parked that bus in front of Bobby Labonte and Tony Stewart, they would have had nowhere to go. They would have had no choice but to sit and take a number. But instead, I kind of botched it. And for that, I'm sorry. Listen, sneak me out of the track already, will you? Well, last race of the day. And to be honest, this is the one I've been looking forward to the most. This one is just over in Wisconsin. This is the famous Slinger Speedway. And good, it's starting us on the inside, too. So this game's finally starting to figure it out. We're going green, and we are underway here at Slinger. We're going to send it right nice and low and maybe take a few rows off right from the start of this big old almost Bristol of the North. And I don't remember ever racing Slinger as we're going to get past Michael Waldrop in any game. 
I don't think I've ever seen Slinger in a racing game before other than NR2003 as a mod, which doesn't really count, so... Either way, it's making its channel debut. Castro Nevis bolting me out of the way and then not going through on the bottom. That doesn't make any sense. He just wants to let me know he's thinking about me still, which is a little worrying, but we have to worry about Paul Tracy more, and that is what we almost no longer have to do is we're halfway by him. Come on, let me clear him into the corner. We got him. And now it's somebody who should have the biggest vendetta against us of all time. And if the SRX races of real life or anything to go by, they are no stranger to rivalries. And look at him, he's blocking me. He's using me as a... He just used himself as the pick to let Castro Nevis buy. Look at this garbage. Tony Stewart just going to shuffle right through it. Now Willie gets out of the way for Stewart. Oh, I see how it is, Willie. Get the hell out of the way, Smoke. I know there's a Terminator vendetta against me. And in this game, it actually might be the first time it's deserved. Because I have been racing like a bit of a buffoon, and I'm going to give us an example right here. Almost a wreck fest experience. There's one for Tony Stewart. We just put him in the wall. And we coughed up a couple positions in the process. And now Bobby's going to hog that bottom lane right where I want to be. So I'm going to have to give that one up. Once and for all, I'll give you the, the bump draft. And you couldn't handle it, Bobby. No, Bobby. Damn it. You're going to come to a stop right in front of me. I'm spazzing out on the camera buttons again. And we've lost, oh, I'm, I'm, everything's gone wrong here. I'm, I'm searching for the shift button, searching for a lane. Got Greg Biffle here, gonna stick it under him. Why is he not driving the 69? This is not nice, come on. Where is my realism in this game? If there was some more realism in this game, we'd be out of the race by now because we would have been junked by half the field because we deserve it. And to be honest, I deserve to give a little something to Willie here. And I might do a little Chase Hilly move on the exit of this corner. I heard you cut the tire just like that. It could be that easy, Willie. But with the leaders absolutely out of view, I could just barely capture the end of the line there in my sight. Off the corner, barely scrape the wall. We will go ahead and take fifth. It was a decent rally. Well, the darkness has really fallen. You can see the stars up in the sky and everything now. And we are on the high side, which I do not want. But we will take. Off we go on the high side. Michael Waltrip running up into us. We'll take it back down into him. Gather it up for the next corner. So we're able to get some power off the corner, but nowhere to take it. We could have just rammed it into ribs, but I'm going to try to be a good boy. We find a gap to sneak in here. Me and Bobby Labonte get into a race. Imagine that. A little racing. Oh, Tony Stewart trying to make it three wide. Though. Well, that's going to cause me to wreck. No, what a soul! Oh, come on, damn it. I'm hitting the camera buttons again. How do I keep doing that? What button is that? Let me remap that. Jesus. We really did not need to have another early heat set back because we're getting loose again. Almost wrecked it right in the same spot. And now I get the pleasure of racing for 10th place with the likes of Paul Tracy, which I just thoroughly enjoy to the core. And two minutes left on the clock. How many of racing's elite all-stars can we take down? I can take down a lot of them if I just cut the course and wall them all. And I'm not playing any games with Paul Tracy today. Let's just let that be known. Come on, Walter. Back that thing up to me. I want positions, and he's going to barely see a nose underneath him on the entry of the corner, which is what every race car driver loves, and we get that spot. Textbook style. Textbook to get your ass beat after the race, which is... That's the only book we have, isn't it? And we must be sharing it with some of these AI, too, today. I think we've been... I think we might have been infiltrated in our playbook. Stolen, really. I don't think we've shared anything. It's we're bodying cars out of the way. Oh, I'm getting loose, too, and that's not going to help the bodying, as there's another one laid down. And with 40 seconds left in this heat, that just might be what we have to do to get these spots climb up the field. I don't know what good it does, but it's for honor. It's for pride. It's for getting past Tony Kanan without wrecking him maybe for the first time all day. Can we do it? Oh, he just slams on the brakes. He knows. He knows what's at stake here. We get loose and he turns us. No, the tire on tire contact is going to set us all the way back. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, come on. Are you serious? And I damaged the car. This could not have gone more wrong. 
I'm gonna do another Kyle Bush finish in reverse if I have to. Are you so we're laps down? I just gotta go. We're gonna get eliminated. I don't even think you can get eliminated. I'm gonna eliminate Tony Kanon back here. Come on, dude. You could have gave me a little bit of space. You had to pinch me off the corner, you. Ho oh, ho ho ho, man. That is very displeasing right there. Well, remind me to never try to spare Tony Kanon again. Because I know what comes of it. A complete and total setback. From second to twelfth. In one corner. And Tony, don't even look at me. Don't even breathe on me. Don't even try it right now. We're just gonna get past and leave you back there three wide. Have fun with that. Meanwhile, we'll pass this imposter Biffle who's not riding the right number and it took me all these races to realize it. And not everybody's in the right paint scheme and different things too. There's, th this game could use a little update as we mini pack Bill. I think we're finally in striking distance of this pack. Come on, Marco, give me a lane. And thank you, he gives me plenty of space. I don't think some of these other guys are going to be as nice about it. Get underneath Awesome Bill. And that Sparko machine will get past him. Now we got the man in front of us. Smoke as I scrape the wall again. Throw some smoke up in there. Got to get down low and close off that bottom lane. Ernie Francis Jr. Going to be on the top side and get a little smack from us as I touch that apron again. I got to stay off of that thing. And then I try to and I give the lane away. It's constant juggling. You can never sleep at this track as we got to get in this podium up here. Come on, Tony. Oh, that was a send job. I don't know what I was going to accomplish with that. That was foolish. All right, Elliot, you go take care of him. Then you see if you can do something. Go on. No. All right, dude, get out of the way. Take that smacking and get and get. Get, I say. All right. Back where we were just a few laps ago, literally. Same picture frame with six to go. And I think the lead is pretty much out of the question, but we might be able to nab the podium that does not exist. Because this is America. But this is the end of the race, and I don't want to look like a bum in front of all these Wisconsinites. They'll be seeing enough of that from the Packers once Aaron Rodgers heads out of town. I had to get one of those zingers in here before we left. We were too close to Green Bay for that to happen. But we are going to get... All these lab cars out of the way, too little, too late. Tony Stewart's now got clean air to breathe. And being that this is Slinger, I don't know, we've seen crazier things happen today. I guess I shouldn't really count ourselves out of this thing yet. Is there some thick lap traffic up there? It's thick. But so are the chances of us losing as we are on the white flag lap. And a record of one for four on the day is a bit tough, but we will bring it across the line, smack the wall one last time, and collect a fourth place finish, just a position shy of that elusive podium that I tried oh so hard to grab onto. It was that close to us, it just barely slipped away. So there you go, we confirmed that we did in fact finish in fourth place in our fourth race of the day. And Bobby Labani, 2000 NASCAR champ gets the dub. So we will soak in those results and pretty much wrap the video up here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we'll reconvene here in SRX after the final race and see how things wrapped up. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.